Hi, my name's Tom. Today we're going to talk about choosing the right home house filter for you. There's a lot of numbers and a lot of details to talk about, but I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. First, let's remember how filters work. When I think of filters, I think of a coffee filter. The way coffee filters work is you go ahead, you have the filter, you put your coffee beans in here, your ground coffee in here, and you pour water over it. The water goes through the ground coffee and comes out the bottom. The filter allows the water to go through, but keeps the ground coffee here. It filters out, it prevents the ground coffee from getting into your coffee. Air filters work the same way. They're usually a thin membrane that prevents dirt and debris from flowing through, but air will flow through just fine. So you'll have dirty air flow through one side, the dirt and debris get stuck, and the clean air flows through the other side. There are lots of different types of air filters, and the air filters are designed to block out particles of certain sizes. Bigger particles are easier to block out. Smaller particles are more difficult to block out. You can usually tell what type of particles the filter can block out based upon a number rating. And there are a couple different ratings, and we'll talk about them. But generally, the larger the number of the rating, the better the filter, and the smaller the particles it will filter from the air. The most prominent rating system is called MERV, which stands for Minimum Efficiency Reporting Value. It was developed by the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers. The MERV scale runs from about 1 to 16, with most house filters being between MERV 1 and 13. Remember, the higher the MERV rating, the smaller the particles, the better the filter is at taking things out of the air. The company 3M, which creates filtreat filters, created their own scale called MPR. It stands for Microparticle Performance Rating. This scale runs from about 300 to about 2800, but the same thing is true with MERV. The higher the number, the smaller the particles it pulls out of the air, the better the filter. Home Depot also created their own filter rating system called FPR, which stands for Air Filter Performance Rating. It ranges from 4 to 12. Yet again, the higher the number, the better the filter, the smaller the particles it filters out of your air. So how do you choose which rating of filter you need? The easiest way is to look at a chart like this. You'll see a list of pollutants that get smaller and smaller on the left hand side as you go down the list. You decide which level of pollutant you're most concerned about removing from the air from your home. Then you move to the right to see where the check marks of the filter ratings begin. That's the minimum level of air filter you want for your home. As an example, if you're concerned about filtering smoke out of the air, you can move your finger over to see that MERV 11 or MPR 1000 filters and up are designed to filter smoke. That's all there is to it. So what kind of filter should you get? There's actually two types of replaceable home air filters that you can choose from. First, you can get polyester or fiberglass type of air filters. They have kind of a random mesh here and then you can kind of see they'll stop some big particles, but you can almost see through them. These are typically the lower MERV rated filters, and most filters you can actually look on the side, in this particular case there's a bunch of numbers on the inside here, and this is a MERV 1 air filter. So that means it will probably catch very large particles, but that's about it. You can also get pleated filters. They're called pleated because basically it's a filter material that's bent up like little mountains, like little pleats. Pleated air filters typically will have a higher MERV value than the fiberglass or the polyester air filters. And you can see, you see a little less light through them. I'm going to quickly show you all the filters so you can see how they change as you get higher and higher up in the numbers. Here you can see some close-up photos of air filters of various ratings. The first photo is of a polyester air filter. It has a random weave of polyester and has a MERV rating of 1. To the right you see MERV 5 and 7 pleated air filters. The pleated material gets a little bit tighter as the filter rating goes up. Moving down to the second row, it's difficult to see, but the MERV 11 filter is actually a little thicker and has a tighter material weave than the previous filters. And then when you look at the MERV 12 and 13 filters, you can see there are lots of tightly folded material in that filter. These filters have so much pleated material that they need to have a thin wire mesh structure to keep them rigid and structurally sound. The more material, the more pleats, the better the filter. Another type of filter is this filter with black sand all over it. The sand is actually activated charcoal, and it's designed to remove odors from the house. So it's an MPR 1200, but it's actually designed specifically to remove 
odors. So activated charcoal will pull odors from your house. And I've used these before in homes where we had a smoker and the smoker left and the whole house smelled like smoke. And we put one of these things in and it really does help. Now that you know all about the different types of air filters for your home, you have one more thing to think about and that's what size of filter you actually need. The easiest way to do that is to pull out your old filter and take a look at it. On the side of the filter or on the edge somewhere, there should be some numbers. In my case, I've got a 14 and a 24 and a 1. The way these numbers work is they are measured in inches. So this is 14 inches across, 24 inches long, and 1 inch thick. All you need to do when you're buying your filters is to go ahead and get a filter of that same size. Those three numbers, 14, 24, and 1. Make sure you get the right, right size. That really is very important. The correct filter size will be sure that it blocks all the air and cleans all the air in your home. If you get a filter that's too small or too large, you have to cut it down, that will actually destroy the integrity of the filter and it won't work very well at all. And that's all there is to it. You pick the rating of the filter you actually want for your home. You pick the right size of your filter and then read the instructions for how to remove your old filter and put your new filter in. Remember, most filters need to be changed between 30 and 90 days based on general recommendations and general use. Good luck getting a filter in your, in your home. It's not that difficult and it really does improve your quality of life. If you like videos like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. You can leave comments or questions. I will go ahead and try to answer them when I can.